Ooh, all right. Hello, little shy. Hey, everybody. I'm going to show you on this episode of Uncle Chris, where it is the middle of the night before Turkey Day, how to make some sides and not drive yourself crazy in the process. I'll show you some shortcuts. Ooh, up next, I'm going to hit myself with a spatula. I have some bread here I queued up from the food pantry. Cat, stop it. Leave me alone. They give you tons of bread at the food pantry, as you know. This is just to show you how to do your uh, stuffing from scratch. So I've done two pans worth. I'm going to toast this until it's golden brown, okay? Uh, I'm going to put a little seasoning on first, just a little bitty bit, just a little bitty bit, okay? Actually, you know what? I changed my mind to that afterwards because I want my seasoning to burn. I have chopped up half and a, a little bit more pack of bacon. Now, you don't have to use pork bacon. You could use turkey bacon. You can use that too. I've also chopped up a whole sleeve of celery. Believe it or not, that is. And one whole onion and a half. That's just for this amount, okay? Because I'm going to try to make... You see somebody burn my countertop? Roommates. It's crazy. I'm going to try to make two different types of dressing here. Okay, so first things first. Put the cat in the oven. No, I'm joking. I'm going to put the bread here in the oven. Which is already... Get out of my chair. Which has already been preheating. Oh, yes. Watch that a little higher. Now, remember, I said this bread is going to be golden brown. Now, also what they gave me at the food pantry was some bread cubes, which I may or may not use. It depends. If I feel like I have enough dressing, then I won't use them. But we will see. Now, I am going to take and put this bacon in the skillet first, okay? I want to show you all that. Skillet's already hot. We put in all our bacon, okay? We're going to brown the bacon so it's almost done. And then we're going to add in the vegetables, okay? Sorry about that. You all, my camera died. Okay. If you set up all your seasonings that you're going to use, it'll be much, much easier for you to cook. You want to set you up an assembly line. That's right. All right. For your dressing, the seasonings are very simple. Poultry seasoning. Sage. Onion powder. White pepper. Black pepper. Okay, I'm going to put the black pepper in the black pepper. I put some red crushed pepper in there just to give a little flavor. And some garlic, okay? Now, you can season these to taste or a teaspoon of each or a little more. Now, these seasonings over here are going to be for your candied yams, your allspice, your cinnamon. And I'm also going to put a little bit of nutmeg in there, okay? That's what you will need. These seasons basically for all your holiday stuff. Oh, and I also got these meals from the food pantry, which I do not use the seasoning. I just use the noodles inside to make my macaroni and cheese. All right, it is time to add the vegetables, okay? Okay, now that that bacon has cooked down to a lovely consistency, yes, we're going to put in our uh, vegetables, celery and onions. Good news for you to work. Mm. 
Yes. Oh, oh. Like I said, I wish there could be smell o vision <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> now, so we're stirring this up. Guess what we're going to do? Put in some spices. Hold on. All right. First thing I'm going to do is put in some sage. Mm-hmm. Put a lot of that. That's a holiday thing. Don't put in a little bit of poultry season, not too much. The poultry season can overpower a dish, okay? Poultry season can um poultry seasoning can also be kinda bitter, so you gotta watch that. Alright, I'm gonna put in some black pepper. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put in some white pepper. Now, white pepper, you gotta watch this. White pepper is hot. Mm -hmm. And just because I'm gonna put in a little onion powder, just because. Okay. Now I'm putting in about. A uh, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon each, and just I'm gonna put a, a hint of garlic in there. Okay, just see that, just a hint. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that smells so good! Oh, oh, yeah. Now you're going to cook this till the vegetables are translucent and cooked well. You don't want them to be crunchy. You want them to be soft and cooked. All right. All right. You're going to stir this periodically and let it cook on down. Okay. Ooh, all right. I'm sweating now. All right. I have chopped up six sweet potatoes okay and I have over here mm, some hot water Ooh, drop the top. some hot water already boiling okay so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do what am I gonna do hopefully pick this up and not drop it what I'm gonna do let's put your sweet potatoes all in here, you know, hold on. I want you to put these sweet potatoes all in this hot water. I'm gonna boil them to basically tender, okay? And then we're gonna add the rest of the spices to them and put them in. Ooh, ooh, okay, it's a little bit hot. In the oven to bake now. This is done. We're going to combine that with the toasted breadcrumbs and make our dressing. Then I'm going to show you about lazy cooking. All right. All right. I have taken the toasted bread out of the oven. Like that. I'm going to put them in a pot just to mix. That's all. Okay. Stitch it out nice and crunchy. Okay. All right, we're going to take and put our bacon and celery mixture in there too. Shut up. Mm -mm -mm. Now, we're going 
go to take some chicken stock. First, let's mix this around, okay? We're going to break up the bread a little bit. Mix this around. Oh, yeah. See how we're doing that? So that's how much finish is all be incorporated. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cat, stop it. Right now. I don't have to deal with that cat. <laughs> All right. Oh, chop it up. This is just so you know how to make it from scratch. If you don't have any toasted bread crumbs in a bag, cubes, I should say. You know, for the stuff in mix. Now I'm gonna repeat my spices. A little bit of poultry seasoning. Okay. Brown sage. I put a lot because that's my taste. I'm gonna put in a little more black pepper, some onion powder because that's what I like, onion powder, and we're going to put in a little bit of garlic, alright. Now, you're going to put in a cup to maybe two cups, depending upon how moist you want your dressing of chicken stock, okay? okay. Stir it around until you get it all moistened up. Anytime you see a big piece of bread, chop it up. Now, this is how you make basic dressing. Okay, this is, you can stop here. Add your egg, two eggs. You're going to add two eggs. I'll show you that too. You're going to add two eggs to this concoction. That'll help give it form. Okay. Time to make sure there's no shell going in your product. Okay. Now, this is basic dressing. You can put this in the pan and go about your business. But I'm going to make oyster dressing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pound of oysters, saute them in some butter and uh, the same spices, and put them in here. Be right back. Okay, all I'm doing is sauteing my oysters after I have rinsed them very thoroughly and they should smell fresh like the sea. It should be a nice smell. Not rancid. If it's rancid, throw them away and go get your money back. Don't give them to them. Okay? You're going to cook these until they're almost done. When the edges start to curl up, they're done. I put butter. I have put garlic, a little bit, onion, and I have also put some sage. 
because these are going in the dressing. Okay. You also might want to chop them up a little bit. See what I'm saying? So you get some. And all this juice is going to go in the dressing too now. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is oyster stuffing. Now, I've showed you how to make two dressings or stuffings, whatever you want to call it, at one time. You don't have to add the oysters. You can just make the regular. But this one, I want special. Okay. All right. Do these until they, like I said, they're almost done. And you're good. You just add them into the dressing. Put it into a buttered pan and bake it for about hmm, 30 to 45 minutes or until golden brown. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, by the way, the pan is a 13 by 9. Just so you know. Okay. Ooh, look at there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, these are done. All right. Okay, greased up my pan. So, I'm going to take my stuff and make sure put it right in here. out just like that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven. And you're ready to go. All right. I'll be back with the candy games. Oh, and the lazy cooking for the greens. All right, Ooh, yes, mm. I have taken the sweet potatoes out of the pot, put them in the pan, put some of the sweet potato water in the pan. You are gonna need some, not all of it, just some of it. See how much I got in there? Just that much to have liquid in there. I have chopped up a whole stick of butter. Yes, that's right. Whole stick of butter plus almost a half of it. Okay, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do, put some cinnamon, it is cinnamon, look at your spices before you put it in your food, one time I put paprika, put your, <laughs> I'm going to put the cinnamon over top, okay, I like plenty of that, I am going to take my allspice, now be careful with allspice because Allspice is very uh, powerful, shall we say? Okay. <clears throat> oh yes. Now, I don't have any nutmeg, so I'm gonna put some pumpkin pie spice. But guess what it has in it? Nutmeg. No, you're not gonna taste no pumpkin. Okay. A little bit of that. More importantly, we're gonna put in. Oh lord. Ooh, if not more, cat fools of vanilla. Oh, shoot. Woo, shoot. I don't want some more, but three. It's gonna be vanilla, all right. <laughs> Hopefully, that's gonna be a happy accident. Now, I forgot to mention, the start of baking this stuff good is dark brown sugar. That's right, I said dark. Not that light stuff. Dark brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Now, some people put lemon in this. I don't. I just don't care for the lemon. You're going to be liberal with this because these are candy jams. We're going to work. I 
I said we gonna work. We gonna work. Mm, we gonna work. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I know it's right up there. Damn, that's a lot of sugar. Well, you know what? It's our candy again. That's right. Yeah, sweet. Put a little shake. Not too much. We go with candy. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven at about 350 to 375, depending upon how you want yours done. I'm gonna do mine a little slow on the left. 350, okay? And I'll be right back with the crock pot of greens. You put your greens in there, your ingredients, and you cook them overnight and don't worry about nothing. That's right. All right, I'll be right back. Put this in the oven. Let's leave it a little bit. Hey you all, I just wanted to show you how the stuffing came out or dressing. Mm. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and see when you butter the pan, it does not stick. It just pulls away from it. Look at that. And also, look at these candied yams. Oh my goodness. Caramelized and ready to tantalize. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be back with the greens. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, you all. <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest and laziest thing you do. We're gonna cook these greens in a slow cooker, a crock pot, okay? So you're gonna take your greens, chop them up. In this case, I'm doing stems and all, why? Because the slow cooker is gonna cook these things all night and part of the day and everything in here is gonna get cooked up. So what you do, put your greens in your pot. You put one onion, two ham hocks, or your turkey bacon, your seasonings, which is gonna be onion powder, and your green seasoning, which comes in a packet. You can look for it and find green seasonings at anywhere. Half cup of sugar, black pepper, sugar right there and some garlic not too much because the flavors will intensify in the slow cooker I'll be right back okay so this is real simple I have stuffed the greens in here you might think this is too much no these greens are gonna cook down trust me on that this onion you do a rough chop just remember so it's gonna be a slow cooker. I have quartered this onion. See? So just put it through there. Put some on there. See? Put some down there. And some down here. All right. Now, for your liquid, I'm going to put right over here once again. Mm. My chicken stock. That I made. Okay. Go to the stock. Hold on. Into that. I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to show you how much liquid I am putting in here. But remember, I started with chicken stock. I got a battery for that fire. Okay. Now, this way, so you see it coming just like that to the top. Okay. Put a little bit more. While that's filled with water, I want to put some onion powder. 
I'll see you soon. I'm going to put some red pepper. Do that to taste. Add a little bit. Okay. I like a little spice to mine. I'll put a little bit of garlic. Because that would be in the slow cooker. They really but it's the um, intensify those flavors. Now, I'm going to get half a cup of sugar. Because greens, there's a collard greens here. Now I'm putting a little less than half a cup. can be bitter, okay? You don't have to put that in there if you don't want to. I also have a little bit of my special vinegar sauce with the peppers in it already. Mm. I'm putting some of that in here. Ooh, I see about a tablespoon of that. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my liquid. Just the liquid coming up like that. That's about enough. I might add a little bit more, but you just want enough liquid to see if you can come up to the top like that. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Seasoning for green, y'all. Seasoning for green. I'm gonna put the whole thing in here. Twisting around because I want them well seasoned and not just one, Ooh. I'm putting two. in here. Yes, yes. Two of these ham hocks. Up in here. Up in here. Oh, yes. All right. Now we just take this and put it in the hot, hot, the hot pot, the crock pot, and let it cook all night. That's all you gotta do. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm also going to set my hot pot on my cooking board so it does not get my countertop hot like it did over here and ruined it. All right. Ooh. Now. All right, you all. Ooh. I showed you how to make the side dishes. Two types of stuffing. You can make the regular or you can make the oyster stuffing. See how that turned out lovely. Oh. And the candy gams turned out lovely too. Yeah. I'm going to put the tops on these. Let them cool down. And then I'm going to refrigerate them and take them over to my sister's house tomorrow. This way, you are ready for tomorrow. We can entertain at your house. Put this camera up a little bit. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you can entertain at your house or have it ready to travel. Hopefully, this took some of the stress out of your holiday. And the greens in the crock pot, well, that's just a given. The crock pot can transport by itself with the top on. All right, I want to wish everybody happy Thanksgivings. Ooh, should I show you my macaroni and cheese and chitlins? No, that's another video. All right. Happy holidays.